Hi folks, okay, four very simple steps. This is how I've been doing, uh, rather replacing incandescent lights in my passenger cars with LEDs. So I cut the strip of LED lighting to fit. This is for a 15 inch uh, aluminum passenger car um, that I was doing. On the back, you peel this, there's adhesive already on it. Um, everywhere that there's a scissor you can cut, so every cut could give you a three inch section. Or, in this case, I believe I've got 18 lights. Uh, there's a positive and a negative. The negative will be indicated with a very tiny negative symbol there. So when it comes to powering these, uh, you'll know exactly where Step to solder. Step two, powering the LED lights. Uh, I've ordered these from eBay as well. Extremely cheap. Can't remember, I think I paid, uh, uh, I don't know what I paid, uh, but it was cheap. Anyways, male, female, male gets soldered to the positive and negative here. That's pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, you can cut this length of wire to, uh, to your spe specification. The female, uh, basically positive and negative, goes to the wires coming out of the pickup rollers in your cars. Uh, K-Line, for example, in, in a lot of the passenger cars I've found, there's already a switch like this in there. I replace it just because it's old and because uh, I want it to fit what I've already been using for the male. Um, but these have proven very effective. They're a little bigger than uh, I thought they'd be. But uh, This here is an on-off switch that um, I've used in a few cars uh, with, uh, with good results. Um, there's a few that I wanted to have the on and off function, so this just goes in between uh, your positive connection on the lights and the positive connection to the pickup rollers. And uh, in the few instances, I've concealed these inside the car when they've been uh, baggage cars. In other cases, you guys may want to uh, experiment with uh, concealing these elsewhere, or perhaps you know there's a better switch uh, that you'd like to use for. Okay, on -off. step four. Uh, something I've been doing to make sure that these lights don't sag or start to drop from the car ceilings. Uh, this backing on them, I find, is not really uh, sticky enough. At least not uh, in the aluminum cars I've been using them in. So. Uh, I've been using this clear dap, dries in 30 minutes, usually after 15 minutes I find it's, uh, it's pretty dry and ready to go. Uh, very small bead along the back, um, and that's it, that's been doing the trick, I'm very happy with the results. Uh, for added measure and to maximize the uh, lights within the car, I've been using uh, duct taping, putting, it, uh, putting a strip across the ceiling. Um, I think, I don't know, perhaps it's my imagination, but um, I've been 